hey guys today in this video i am going to show you some of the easy propagating plants which i am propagating quite a long period of time and they are doing well enough this is a monstera plant which i am propagating since two weeks ago and the new growth has already been started for the water filling i used to fill them just above the node area so that i ensure that my cuttings are doing well enough this is a single node area stem which I am propagating in water and hope so I shall do it well enough and this is the another cutting which is also doing well enough. Now this is the oldest cutting of my monstera plant which I am propagating since 3 to 4 months ago and dense web like roots has been formed which can be also ready for putting them in the soil. I have also tried to put them in leka and the growth is quite slow compared to the water in the soil but the new growth has been started. You can see the roots has been arising and this white portion is the new growth of the roots. So here's the update of my monsters which are doing well enough. As you can see small aerial roots are growing from the node area. This is the point where we can propagate them. This is a Syngonium plant which is propagating quite a long period of time and the growth is quite well until when I have forgotten to water them before I have gone to trip. But the new growth has been started and this is another Syngonium plant in which pink color Syngonium and the normal variety is there. The next plant which you see is this a philodendron plant and this is one of my favorite plant while I am propagating them because it's a quite long period of time it's approximately 3 to 4 months or it can be more than that and a dense growth of the root has been started and day by day the plant is growing well enough. I used to put all my cuttings in a bright corner where it receives a proper amount of light not the direct ones. As the water level drops, I refill it again. I am 100% sure that you know this plant. This is a snake plant which is nowadays a popular in terms of propagating them. There are some cuttings which has taken a quite long of time which haven't rooted and it, there are some cuttings also which has started rooting within few weeks. Most of my cuttings has been start rooted and new pups also start growing but there are some cuttings which has become a laggy or soggy ones because of the irregular watering care. Now this plant if you see for the first time you will believe that it's a plant not in propagating them in water. But it's not that it's a, I am propagating in that in water. This plant has taken approximately 2 months to grow such dense roots and the lush green leaves. This is a smaller version and trust me this is one of the most easiest plant to propagate it. I am definitely sure that someone or the other has already tried to propagate this plant and this plant is doing well. So this is the money plant which I am propagating for since 3 to 4 months ago and you can see this bottle jar shape has been came in this roots. Sometimes it makes difficult to put them inside. Among all the cuttings, this one is the newest cutting which is the Song of India which I am propagating since a day before and removed all the bottom leaves and simply put them in a jar. This is the another side of the propagation station. There are few cuttings which has become soggy, dried up, the roots is not growing properly or the roots has become too soggy or dried up. This is all due to my carelessness because I have forgotten to water them either or I have over watered them before going to the trip. But it's okay, it's all part of learning. 